So we have uh, different kind of metering which is spot metering, evaluative or matrix metering and then center weighted average metering and finally partial metering. Let us look at each of them one at a time. Spot metering my favorite and this is where the concept of uh, uh, metering can be clearly explained. Now consider a particular image. Now if you look at this particular image and judge the image based on tonality, you can see that the subject is more dark in shade. So the tonality we say is on the darker shade. So if you go with exposure compensation 0, then the whole subject will get exposed as medium tone. So the dark will actually turn out to be more medium uh, uh, tonality, medium color what we say. Now another very important point when it comes to the whole concept of spot metering is the camera evaluates how much light is being reflected from that one single autofocusing point. Generally by default it is the center autofocusing point that is why it is called spot metering because it meters from that one particular spot. Now that area of spot generally is in the range of uh, 1% to 3% of your area of your entire frame. Now, Spot metering if you see is obviously very good when it comes to photographing a subject of uniform tonality. If there are too many tonalities in the subject spot metering will not work very well and also if the subject is quite far it will not work very well. Now if you consider the image as I said wherever the center autofocusing point is looking at the camera calculates how much light is reflected from that center point and then it tries to expose that as a medium tonality subject. Now you have to compare whatever tonality subject you are shooting. So you need to look at that tonality, compare it with the Ansel Adams zonal chart and then match as to where that tonality subject falls. Is it very dark? Is it dark? Is it medium? Now based on how dark the subject is compared to the chart, you will have to underexpose your image by so many stops. Now that is how the exposure compensation and metering they go hand in hand. So that is about spot metering. Of course now if you are shooting something on the bright side, so obviously the camera internally makes it as medium tone. So you will have to overexpose it by so many stops based on, based on again the Ansel Adam zonal chart and see by how many stops you want to overexpose it. Now this is how spot metering works. Now let us see how evaluative or matrix metering works. Now the whole concept of evaluative or matrix metering works on the principle of dividing the entire frame into multiple segments. In fact, it is also called as segment metering. Now the camera divides your entire frame into different segments, calculates how much light is reflected from each of the segment and then it averages it out giving more emphasis to where the center autofocusing point is looking at. Now uh, if I had to give you an example, you consider this entire scene. If you look at this scene, so the light if you see amount of light reflected from each of this place, the tonality. So some place it is dark, some place it is probably medium tone, some place it is very bright. So if you say in simple terms, let us just consider shutter speed. So if you consider shutter speed, depending on how much light is being reflected from each of this area, each area will give you a different shutter speed. Some place where it is darker, you get a lower shutter speed. So of course I am assuming we are in aperture priority mode and a constant ISO. So only parameter which will change is your ISO, uh, your shutter speed. So anywhere if the patch that area is dark then obviously you get a low shutter speed. Somewhere if the overall tonality is very bright then we get more shutter speed, a higher shutter speed, medium tonality and average shutter speed. So the camera what it does, so it uses this concept, this principle to calculate how much light is being reflected from the entire segment, entire scene from different segments and it averages that out. Now one of the good things with evaluative or matrix metering is that if you look at your entire scene, visually you can try to calculate and then you try to average it out as to what is the overall average tonality of my entire scene and then use the exposure compensation at minus 1 stop, minus 2 third stop, minus 1, one third stop or for Nikon Sony users it is minus 0 0.3, minus 0 0.7 or 1, 1 1.3, 1.7, minus 2 stops, same thing on the plus side. So this is how the evaluative metering or the matrix metering or even the multi-segment metering works. 
Next comes partial metering. Now partial metering is very very similar to your spot metering. So in case of spot metering as I said your metering area is in the range of 1.2 to around 3 percent whereas partial metering takes an average of around 13 to 14 percent of your frame. So that is the only difference between partial metering and spot metering. Then the final, final metering what we have is your center weighted uh, metering. So the center weighted average metering is the next one. Now in this case what happens it is again similar to your evaluative but what it does it gives more emphasis to the center portion of the image. So overall again the entire scene you see camera gives emphasis to the center area of the image and then tries to expose that scene as a medium tone or an 18 percent gray subject. Then again use the same chart look at the tonality at the center portion what it is use the exposure compensation to overexpose or underexpose. So any of these two things you will have to do. Now this is how each of the four different kind of metering works in your camera. Now next step let us look at now that we understand how the various metering works. Now let us see with some practical examples in what scenarios what kind of metering works well in wildlife photography.